Back so soon? Oh, you're talking to me. I'm not in the habit of talking to myself, you buffoon. Did you get rid of them? Yes. No. Well, I, I had this plan, and I thought... You thought? You thought? I do the thinking around here, you slug brain idiot. I simply needed you to eliminate those two nuisances before they could cause any real trouble. But I wanted to... Do you still want to be the highly paid spokesman for my planet? Yeah. Then the next time I send you to do a job, I want results! Now get out of my sight! Hey guys, it's Mr. 100% Gamer here, bringing you part 9 of Let's Play Ratchet & Clank The 100% Guide, and in this part we'll be going to Fort Krontos, Planet Battalia. Attention, you deserting maggots! The next time you soldiers try to go AWOL, I'll shoot you myself! Look, I just wanna... Zip it, worm! You see those bombers? If you don't get to the turrets and knock those ships out of the sky, this whole planet's gonna be rubble! Meet me at the city entrance! He needs our help. Yeah? Why don't you go help him? Into another trap? Well, go on. Go fight some evil. At least I'm not a coward. <laughs> Whatever. As soon as I find Quark, I'm selling you for scrap. Shit's hit the fan, guys. Welcome to the war zone, Planet Battalia. So you know every every game's got up one of these levels, you know, where there's there's explosives going off, there's loads of armed military guys around everywhere, you know. So he just got debriefed by the commando there, and basically all he said was, uh, there's bombers bombing the city and we've got to try and take them out. Not going to spoil anything about that right now, but what I will say is, to do a job like this, we're going to need some heavy artillery, and yeah, boy do we have it now. The Devastator. This thing is probably my favourite Ratchet & Clank 1 weapon. I, I love this thing. The Glove of Doom's great, the Rhino's great, the Vizzy Bomb is amazing in this game, but the Devastator always has a special place in my heart. You know, that sadistic part of my heart, which is like, let's blow shit up. Well, uh, let's let's buy this because we really are going to need it. This is one of the best weapons in the game and will be useful all the way to the final boss, as it should be. I mean, it's a motherfucking rocket launcher. You, know you can place any gadget or weapon on your quick select. Just pause and choose quick select from the menu. You see these guys here? These are scout bots. These guys aren't really too difficult. I mean, they are pretty weak. Uh, by far, I'd say the flamethrower is probably the best one, you know, the Prositor. You can just see hovering in that top corner there, it's like dead center on the screen right now. That is a mine bot, and that guy's going to fly over in just a second. There you go, you can take him out rather early. This guy's a paratrooper, there are loads of uh, new enemies here. The blog paratroopers are pretty difficult. What I will say, there's a weapon we're going to get really soon, which is by far the best weapon to use against those guys. But we haven't quite got that yet. What I will say is the most annoying enemy, well, one of the most annoying enemies in the game is debuting here on this planet, so just keep an eye out for him, he's coming up in just a second, there he is, I hate these guys. These guys are the blog bomb throwers, and these guys are an absolute pain in the backside. They'll come out of this grass, which have this kind of like antenna coming out of them, and these guys share that antenna it's to use for camouflage, because you know, it is a war zone, it's a battle. Just note the Sonic Summoner pod right there. And we'll get that actually quite soon. That is actually not the next chapter, but the chapter after. Or the part after. I don't call them chapters anymore, but um, there's always that bit of me which says you call them a chapter. But uh, yeah, those guys will come out, they'll throw a bomb, and then they'll run away so you can't hit them. It is pretty damn annoying. So we've got a trespasser thing here. There's nothing really important in here, but you will want to do this, and there's a reason why. So, outer layer first, you want to go right four, so one, two, three, four. Go into the middle one, you want to go left five, so one, two, three, four, five. And then the inner one, you want to go right two, so one, two. And there you go, door opens, and there is just a ton of bolts in here. And as I've said before, bolts are really important in this game, so you really want to get them. If you want to get all the weapons, I mean, 
Last time round, the builds were slightly more important than they were th than they are this time round. I mean, last time it was buy the weapons as soon as they become available, so I couldn't buy the Devastator unless I had everything else, like the mine glove and the the I don't know what else, uh, the taunter, even though I already have that, and the glove of doom and all. That. I'd have to have all that stuff before I could buy this, so it was more important then. But I, I would still say builds are really important because we are going to have to buy that stuff eventually. But right now, we can get the Devastator incredibly comfortably. I mean, we could buy it again. I mean, we really have that many builds. Now, you're allowed on top of this building. On the complete top is these guys again, the scout bots. I don't think they can see us for some reason. They're right below them. Might want to take this thing out here, the blog generator again. Take that thing out first. You can see the blog heavy bomber in the top corner. They're also called blog destroyers, but they're obviously in game they're referred to as blog bombers. So that's what I'm going to call them. And I nearly missed that guy. <laughs> scout bots. When I think of scout bots, I think of one planet, and that planet is Planet Altanis. Not going to spoil anything about that right now, but it's a good one. I like that planet. Now, what you want to do here is you want to wall jump, because you've just seen something gold there. So just wall jump by pressing X when you get near the wall, climb up, and grab your gold bolt. That is gold bolt 14 of 40. Now, at the moment, we have six skill points out of the 30. So skill points, they actually come around near the end. I think I mentioned this last time. So basically how that works is skill points require the more heavy artillery, usually. So the Devastator, when we get the Devastator, which we already just have there, that actually unlocks a lot of doors for us in terms of skill points. We can do a lot now compared to what we could do last part. The Devastator, it, all those ones, you know, there's there's, a, there's a one on Novalis. There's a one on... Um, it called Kerwan. There's ones on all these early planets where you got to destroy some stuff, and they all come out now. You can make all of them available. But the way I'm going to do it is, I probably won't be going to backtrack for a while yet because the way I want to do it is, I'll only backtrack when I can do everything I need to do. So I'm not going to go back to the same planet three times just because, um, well, I will on one occasion. But I'm not going to backtrack to the same place uh, once because I can do one skill point then and then go back later on because I can do another skill point. I'm going to wait until I can get the second one before I go back and do the first one. Anyways, I've already mentioned that before because I remember saying that but I just thought I'd mention it again. In terms of the storyline, you can see there's a lot of these blog bomb for us hanging around now. These guys are really annoying. And I don't want to get off you because scout bots are really weak. Oh, I got him. That was brilliant. Love that. The, bo the bombs have a surprisingly big range, you can't get hit from really far away, which is stupid because the graphic you see on screen, the explosion is actually not that big, but you can still get hit from quite far away, which is really annoying, but we'll just leave it there for now. Bolt crank there, there are a couple of little hidden nooks and crannies here, There's one's got a couple of bolts on, bit of ammo. So far I haven't actually used the Devastator because the main enemy on this planet, which requires it really, hasn't appeared yet. Part of this planet we'll have to access a little bit later on, but you'll find that out in just a bit. So technically that is a spoiler, but that's really in the grand scheme of things not a big deal. Anyways, talking about the story. The first part of the story was looking for Captain Quark. The second part involves Ratchet being incredibly focused on finding Captain Quark again, this time for revenge. Now I'm going to have to change my quick select here, because the quick select only lets you hold a certain number of weapons, as you can see it only lets you hold eight weapons or gadgets. So we now actually have nine. So we don't have enough um, to hold all that stuff yet. We've got a nice little corner there. We've skipped uh, the two on the far side. You can see and count from here how many weapons there are in the game. For those of you who can count, there are 15. So as you can see, there's five and then there's three. So there you go. Five times three is 15. I can do my multiple tables. I don't know. I, I can do my free times tables. Anyways, so something that's not really too much required, I'd say it's the Taunter, so we're going to take that out and put the Devastator in. Now, time for a little Devastation. Boo yaka sha, bitch. It does take a few hits, but there we go, and once the top's gone, it is really just a matter of time before you can take this thing out. It can't do any damage now. You can hit it with a wrench for all you want. I mean, I want to really just come on top and just ride it for a bit. Ride him, cowboy! There we go. Oh, I broke him. Anyways, head across, and we can now... I think there's another mine button here, but I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Yes, there is. Take him out. 
Now those mine bots, they will actually head to a grind rail which is on this planet. So that was actually right next to the start of the level. It was on the right as you walk from the, the ship. By the way, I'm just going to mention we're going to get a gold bolt right now, but um, they will fly off to the grind rail and they will drop mines on the grind rail and that will make getting a skill point we can get, it's the only skill point we can actually get right now on this planet, really annoying. There are in fact three skill points on this planet, but we can't get more than one of them. That is gold bolt. 15 of 40, and that is Gobolt 2 of 2 on Battalia, so we can actually get both of them, and we just have. So uh, I don't know why I said we can, because we just did. Anyways, the story in terms of Ratchet and Clank is at the beginning, they're kind of getting into each other, they're kind of like new friends, I wouldn't really say they're particularly great friends at that point in time, they're just using each other to, well, Ratchet just wants to explore and Clank just wants to save the galaxy. How selfish of Clank. But, um, now Ratchet really resents Clank. Because Clank's made him look like an idiot, he's, he's been betrayed by Quark and he just feels stupid about it. So, I'm not really going to go into the psychology of Ratchet and Clank because I really don't think it's too important and I think it's a bit obvious. It's not a story designed for somebody who's really into a good story. I mean, it is a game that's a 3+. Plus. I mean, 3+, plus games can have deep stories, but I'm just saying that this is a game that looks like this in 3 plus it's generally not going to have an amazing story it's not going to be a shakespeare i keep mentioning shakespeare now he must be like my best i'm, I'm endorsing shakespeare everyone so all 1500 of my subscribers uh, that is an endorsement for shakespeare so you know one day i'll be bigger than shakespeare so we'll just get out the devastator again because it is time for a little devastation he just hit on there i oh, thought he got on top of thing that would have been a good shot time for a little devastation there we go. So that's top off now. Ooh, seductive. Anyways, uh, yes. Dirty mind, John. Dirty mind. Just wait for these guys to come up because there are more of you. I know you are here. Where are you? I know the block. There he is. There's two of them. Oh, sh uh, if they hit you head on, then they are going to hurt you. So they don't have to explode. Come on. Usually they won't come out unless you are either really far away, depending on their draw distance, and whether they are, you know, whether you're looking at them, because you could be, like, they could be in that patch of grass and you do that, and they'll come out. Or, you could be this far away and they'll come out. So, we'll just hit this tank out right now, because it's really not important. For some reason, it hits the dome thing on the top, so, that's not, I wouldn't say that's a weak point, so I don't know why they do that, but there you go. So, we're just going to use these bolt cranks to create a bridge, which is going to take us to the end of this section of the level. So the main part of this level isn't actually that long. The second, well, technically third in the way we're going to do it, part of the level isn't actually required. We don't actually need to do it. But it's... you get an item out of it, so you may as well do it. We're not going to be able to do that for a while yet, though, and that will be explained in the cutscene, which is coming up in just a second. No mine button there, no bolts. So let's head across the bridge, and we can go and talk to the commando. That thing and won't budge. I've tried everything I know short of nuclear weaponry. Hmm. No, never mind. Well, you tried. See ya. Not so fast, soldier. You're going into that compound even if I have to throw you. Aha! That ventilation shaft leads to the turret platform. Soldier, find a way to use that shaft to infiltrate the compound undetected. Hmm. You've shown bravery by making it this far, soldier. And for that, I reward you. I intercepted this communique that you might find useful. Take it. I'm off to find my battalion. Good luck. Hello once again, fellow blog. I hope this message finds you well. As many of you know, our home planet is no longer habitable. We've abandoned our factories, our laboratories, and our happy lives because of the encroaching pollution, leaving much behind. Fortunately, the nearby planets will supply us with all we need to create our new home, which is nearing completion. Once our scientists locate the ideal orbit, our new world will be perfect. So reserve your space now. Prime locations are filling up fast. Good day. Now do you understand why we must stop him? He won't rest until he has destroyed every planet in the galaxy. Yeah? Well, I got bigger fish to fry. Bigger than the galaxy? 
Well, different fish anyway. Look, didn't that commando guy say we could get into that compound? Yes, by using the ventilation shaft. But we will need something special to walk on that. Fine, let's get going then. We'll come back later. You will need a pair of Gadgetron Magna Boots to traverse this ventilation shaft. Unfortunately, our scanners do not detect any Magna Boots on this planet. Looks like Ratchet and Clank are gunning for fish of different variety. Oh yeah. Booyah. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's going to get that. Uh, basically, the last time I did uh, Ratchet and Clank, um, the Let's Play, the first time I did it, that part was actually called Fish of a Different Variety. So anybody who's a, an old school Mr. 100% Gamer fan will actually get that. Well, hopefully, anyway. That was, that, was a, that was a cracker of a part. So, um... We actually don't really need any ammo for this part. I guess we kind of do for one weapon, but it depends on how you tackle it. By the way, uh, talk about my attention of a five-year-old. My attention span of a five-year-old. Attention of a five-year-old. That seems a bit creepy and wrong. Um, if you keep coming back to this planet, the bolts inside there will come back to a degree. So you can keep coming back, getting those bolts, going on the ship, going away, coming back, getting the bolts. It's an easy way of getting bolts in this game. There is a much better way. But for now, we're just going to say that's the best way at this point in time. I did mention about the hoverboard race uh, thing where you can get on the track, but we'll talk about that a little bit later on. So the second section, remember how I said there was a grind rail? Yep, well that's what we're doing now. So the grind rail, uh, now. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, that's what we're doing now. Just, that's why I was uh, using the Comet Strike, because there is in fact uh, some hidden TNTs behind these and we don't want to be taking damage I mean, we haven't taken damage yet as hard as those scout bots tried how much I failed taking out that first uh, tank cannonball tank well anyways here we go the easiest way to do this I mean you can carry a weapon on the grind rail all you need to do is jump on the grind rail to ride the grind rail obviously but the best weapon to use I'd say is the porosita because you can just shoot out the fire just as you come into the mines there's a skill point which is called Jumper, and what you're supposed to do is jump over all the obstacles to not get hit on the grind rail. But a much easier thing to do when it comes to these mines is to just flame them. Because they won't hit you if you're flaming them. So it is actually a really cheap way of doing the skill point. It's the easiest way I know, but there is actually... Actually, that's, that's not true. There is an easier way to do it, but it's the easiest way I know first time to do this skill point, because see that, it's really easy, you just, you won't get hit. The easiest way to do it that I know of, period, is every time you do the grind rail, you'll have the mines here, right? So, the only way, these mines won't regenerate if you fail the grind rail. If you die, they will regenerate. So what you can do is, you can do the grind rail, I'll just get these built here. You can do the grind rail, fail it, and then you could have maybe two mines left once you've failed it. So what you do then is you redo the grind rail and there are no mines left on the grind rail. So all you have to do is ride the grind rail. It really is that easy. So this skill point's called jump, but it is not hard at all. And there we go, that is actually the end. And it's gonna get a cutscene, so I'm gonna have to stop talking. Halt! Who are you? What are you doing? We are on a mission to save the galaxy. Speak for yourself and put your hands down. You look ridiculous. Actually, I don't care who you are. I've got to get the heck out of here. I joined the army to get money to go to college. I never knew I'd end up in a war. Go figure. This is a noble cause, sir. Noble my hiney. I just want to get home to my family. Here, I pulled this off a busted robot. Give me some bolts for a bus fare and it's yours. You know, that was far too easy, that skill point. But you know the economy of a system, of a solar system, is really messed up when you can buy co when you can buy a gun, the blaster, for the same amount of money as bus fare. You could just buy the gun and threaten the bus driver. Oh, well, anyways, let's buy the info bot for 2,000 bolts. Thanks a bunch. Good luck saving the galaxy or whatever. Greetings, Supreme Executive Chairman Drek. As you can see, we're about to test our newest automated pilot's helmet. This helmet allows pilots to control our latest high-tech fighters using only their thoughts. Please enjoy the demonstration. 
We still have a, a few minor adjustments to make. Oh, if they ever get the kinks worked out of that thing, I have got to get me one of those. If they are working for Chairman Drek, they may know where he is. Is that all you can think about, Drek this and Drek that? I got my own problems. If you cannot see the importance of this situation, you do have problems. Yeah? Well, if you're so smart, how come you fell for Quark's stupid trick? Ah, forget it. We both need to get to this planet, and that's all that matters. So there we go, Infobot required, and acquired even, for Planet Gaspar. Well done, John. So we're actually done here. We are going to leave now, and the next destination, next stop, the candy shop. I mean, uh, Planet Orkson. And anyone who knows anything about Planet Orkson will know that that next part will be a bona fide peach. So, I have been Mr. 100% Gamer yet again, and I will see you next time at the Kogor Refinery on Planet Orkson.